My name is Jocelyn Rios. And I'm Godzilla Agua. And this is One Piece at a Time. We are your hosts, and in celebration of the One Piece anime's 20th anniversary, this podcast will explore each episode of this beloved franchise from the perspective of a seasoned One Piece fan and a first-time watcher. We're social media producers at Funimation, and we can't wait to dive into this week's episodes. So join us on this adventure starting right now. Last podcast episode, which was episode 9, we went through anime episodes 64 through 71. Uh, so we landed on Whiskey Peak, which mm-hmm. was actually a trap by Baroque Quirks, uh, mm-hmm. b- a bounty hunting group. Um, the whole town was just a bunch of bounty hunters. And then uh, we actually found out that uh, Miss Wednesday, one of those bounty hunters, is actually a princess. Mm-hmm. And she needs help getting back to her home in Alabasta to stop a civil war. And on the way there, the crew has to stop at Little Garden, which is dinosaur infested mm-hmm. island that has two giants. Mm-hmm. This is a weird show. <laughs> <laughs> if you somehow started at episode nine of this podcast, you didn't start at episode one, and you're like, let me just see what One Piece is about. <laughs> and you heard that. I, you know, help God help you. Because <laughs> if you were like, that sounds great, like just no context, wow. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. You're right. Bounty hunters. Uh, Civil War, dinosaurs, <laughs> a princess, princess. I was like, wait, where's the parts? <laughs> dinosaur, right? <laughs> exactly. They did it time travel? No, <laughs> sort of. I don't know. Anyways, they just did the thing. Anyways, we're on podcast episode ten. We are talking about anime episodes seventy two through seventy nine, and they are having a big adventure in Little Garden. I see what you did there. I like that. <laughs> I like that. See what I did there. Uh, she she wrote she wrote this note for me. <laughs> It's like this is where you're talking about God's land. I like it. I, <laughs> I like that. And uh, they're also facing more agents from Baroque work. Mm-hmm. So that's that's pretty cool. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So we're going to start with episode 72. Luffy gets angry. A dirty trick violates the sacred duel. The sacred duel. Sacred duel. <laughs> so last we left off the volcano signaled for the battle to start and these giants have been fighting for a hundred years mm-hmm. and none of them remember why they're fighting <laughs> they've been fighting for a hundred years every day several times a day mm-hmm. and they don't even know what it's about nope but they do it but they and do it it was a cool fight i mean like they were like fighting hard about to like legitimately kill each other if they mm-hmm. weren't like such good warriors like they someone would have died yeah someone less astute would have died and like, i remember like uh one move that um they did was um, like a sword was about to hit his head, like one of the giant's head, and he parried it with his helmet. Mm. So he used his head to stop a blow from a sword, of all things. Wow. And it worked out. And, you know, they 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 stopped after a while, and they're like, cool, that mm-hmm. was a good fight. <laughs> and and the men, like the men, like, so at least Usopp and Luffy in their respective places, they're like, this is so cool. Yeah. Whereas the ladies are like, this is dumb. Why are they fighting? <laughs> yeah. At first, you know, I didn't understand how that was working because, I don't know. But then I was like, of course, they're so big that yeah. you can watch from miles away. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Uh-huh, yeah. So I was like, wait, so Usopp and Luffy are close to each other, but they're not. No, it's just that they're so big that they size. can both watch the exactly. fight. Exactly. <laughs> so it, it's pretty cool, like how they did that. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's pretty cool that this fight even actually inspired Usopp. He was like, "Man, this is like the the true warrior spirit right here. I want to have that." Mm-hmm. Even though, to be honest, like the more you talk about it, I'm like, "Yeah, this fight doesn't make sense. Why are you guys <laughs> doing this?" I think it's cool, but it's like, uh... yeah, I feel a little. I as I've been analyzing this few episodes Mm -hmm. um i feel a little torn because i get it that their pride is their treasure so as always Uh you know the they are defending their treasure Uh but in this particular case um it seems a little pointless you know and pointless violence is to me, it's just like, and it is never useful. I agree. It's never good. <laughs> I agree. Like where, like personally, it's like unless they're like building each other up, where like exactly, yeah, they're sparring, sparring to like mm-hmm. train for something, or yeah. there's like something like really on the line. Like whereas, like if I don't kill you, you're gonna hurt my people, mm-hmm. you know, or even for a woman or something. I don't know. Yeah, or they but, can train, like yeah. you said, they can spar. Exactly, it doesn't have to be to the death. To the death, but <laughs> yes, they're just they draw every fight, even though they legitimately are fights. Not like they're not try to not kill each other which is but oh well anyways mm-hmm. they don't remember what they fight and they just do it mm-hmm. uh and they keep fighting until the volcano goes back it uh, goes off and then they go back to their individual spots mm-hmm. so and they are like just cool yeah. like 
if the volcano has a signal, like none of them will come after the other. You know,、mm-hmm. they don't have to be on edge,、yeah. watching their sleeve or anything. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. If anything,、yeah. although it's just like the reason you guys fight is dumb. But whatever,、mm-hmm. live life.、Uh, and even、uh, Bragi gives some wine、uh, to Dory and just like, cool. Here you go. Yeah. Have fun. I mean, like some other guys on the side gave me some stuff. So yeah. Uh huh. Cool. Mm-hmm. So Dory gets back to where Luffy is, and yeah, they they sort of、uh, resume the conversation they were having as、mm-hmm. if nothing happened. Yeah, right. Like, as if he didn't just you just know fight just death, fight、right? to death with another giant.、Yeah. And he explains to Luffy,、um, continues to talk about the log post and how people usually who get to the island just die there because <laughs> since the island is so dangerous and they have to wait a year、Jeez. to be able to leave.、Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they just die. My God, and it's like, <laughs> I see why Miss All Sunday was saying this is a bad situation.、So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So as he's explaining that, though, the wine explodes in his belly,、Golly. and he just, you know,、mm-hmm. it just explodes. Jeez,、like, what <laughs> happened? Like, what happened? So、mm-hmm. it was booby trapped.、You're、right. And、uh, Dory's like, "You did this to me. You gave me this wine." Yeah. I was like, "This is your wine," and it's like, "Yeah, but it's not. We didn't do anything. I、uh-huh. mean, crap. We were planning to drink this thing too. I guess I don't know." Yeah, <laughs> they are gonna fight about it like、mm. immediately, as、yep. always. Luffy just that settled this、right. with fighting. <laughs> like, wait, we can talk? No, we gotta fight. <laughs> but to be fair, though, is like that's what they understand too. So the gi- like. Yeah, I guess. Maybe Luffy had like some sort of wisdom, you know. And I'm starting to see like a more wise Luffy. Uh, you know, like whereas, like talking about this. Then again, Luffy's the type of guy to just fight immediately. He's not the type of guy to yeah. He's not you know, talk yeah right. Talk beforehand. That's true. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, they fight. They the giant fights Luffy, and Luffy's like, I don't want to fight, but I got to. And、uh, he, had, he actually does a pretty good job of、uh, putting down the giant. Although to be fair, the giant was wounded, but he does a good job still.、Mm-hmm. So、um, it yeah. works out like where they fight,、uh, but Luffy gets stepped on <laughs>、yeah. by the giant. Yeah, but he's okay. Yeah. He, yeah. I, I mean,、What's、he like fell、weight? off a cliff. Exactly. So, like, I feel like weight and gravity doesn't, doesn't like matter too much to him. Like, it still、yeah. might hurt, but doesn't like. Hurt yeah, I, it feels like、uh, whenever he's gotten really hurt has been when he's he cut. Yeah. yeah, he gets cut with a sword or、mm-hmm. something like that.、Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, Luffy realizes then that someone else is there.、Mm-hmm. If none of them did it, because yeah, clearly the. Wine has been tampered with.、Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. Then what what happens? else happens? Yeah. So then the volcano goes off again.、Mm, right. And then like again, like just like within a few minutes of it going off before, and <laughs> like I was like, this is a bad clock thing. It's like you guys like choose like a different time. Maybe like six p.m. every day. <laughs> yeah. Six a.m. every day. Right. Because you can't、it. predict the volcano. Oh,、no, like、uh, then again, to be fair, is like they both get the same amount of rest. And oh,、well, not really. You can something can always happen. Like just watch that happen here, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, it's dumb. Anyways, the、um, they the volcano goes off again. Luffy's like, don't go. Yeah, yeah he like, tries to stop Dory from、uh-huh. going. He's like, you're hurt. You shouldn't be fighting. Exactly. So、more. he puts. So then Dory puts a giant rock on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on him, so he won't go anywhere. Yeah. Which... So that he can't stop him, and he's like, "I'm gonna go fight."、Mm-hmm. Like, are you Zoro? Like, are you gonna go fight? Right. All hurt, really. <laughs> right.、Oh. But yes. And that's where the episode ends.、Mm-hmm. As we watch Brody leave Dio, no Dory、mm-hmm. leave to the fight.、Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen. We don't you gotta、know. do what you gotta do. Episode seventy three, Bragi's bitter tears of victory, the conclusion of Elbeth. Ooh! So they fight, and how pretty intense fight.、Mm-hmm. And I honestly don't know how Bragi didn't realize that、uh, Dory was yeah. hurt because yeah, blood every blow, yeah, he was like he was spitting up blood. Exactly right. It's like you know you didn't do that to him.、Mm-hmm. You just saw him. You gave him some wine. He was happy and chilling, right? And even if he like. Fell like you know he, yeah you know, as he was going back to his spot he tripped and fell and he he bashed his teeth on some trees or something like that、mm-hmm. you know <laughs> oh well yeah yeah you know, I guess that'd be on Dory then right if he if he did all that to himself yeah、right? so Dory is defeated because also what happened too here is um Mister Three we see Mister Three interfere in the fight secretly like so he causes Dory to trip with his power we don't really、mm-hmm. know what his power is exactly. But we see that he causes Dory to trip, 
and uh, while he's tripping, uh, Bragi Bragi uh, does like a fatal blow to Dory, and he wins the fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for all we know, Dory might be dead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so Luffy's trapped, and Baroque Works is going. You know, they're getting ahead. Everything is going as planned mm-hmm. for them. Even better, actually. <laughs> mm-hmm. than exactly. Uh, they're trying to capture these giants mm-hmm. that have a super old bounty on them Mm -hmm. so the government never forgets (laughs) yeah so they're trying to collect that and they already have one down um and they start like playing some mind tricks on everybody else right Mm -hmm. like uh they sort of find zoro and nami in the jungle and they make it seem like the other members of the crew are there Mm -hmm. and they trap them yes so. Which was weird and sort of creepy. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was like, oh, what's this jungle right here? Yeah. What's under powers that causes this to happen? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Mr. Five and uh, Ms. Valentine, they are also looking for Luffy, and they find him underneath the rock. <laughs> <All right? laughs> yeah. So, they find him, and they find uh, Vivi, mm-hmm. and the, they also bring out Karu. Mr. Five brings out Karu. Where um, Karu is all beat up, and it's like, yeah, what happened? Yeah, poor Karu. We find out that like they beat so, up Karu, so that way Karu would yell to, I guess, like, tra- uh, you know, to split them up. Uh huh. But Karu didn't do it because he's a homie. He's a homie. The homie, mm-hmm. and it, unfortunately, he's beat up now. Yeah. You know, which was which really sucks. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we see we see that um, their plan was to also capture Luffy, but luckily it's already done for them because now Luffy's still under the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Luffy yeah. has a problem with heavy rocks, does he? Yeah, right? He does. So that's it's all sad stuff. So and they they also like start beating up Luffy now that like, he can't move. Yeah. Um like we see that Mr. Five's explosive power isn't just limited to boogers, but is it's anything from his body that he touches. So pretty cool power. Mm-hmm. He just uses boogers for some reason. <laughs> I guess it would be like the most nasty. dense I know, right? Well, <laughs> It could be worse, I guess, right? <laughs> but, you know, something, if you want projectile. I guess. You're right. It's easy to acquire, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, right. It's Get like, rid of. You can't, I don't you know. can't throw hair, unfortunately, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Could you, like, spit on people? I don't know. Anyway, still, <laughs> excrement is not going to be good. Explosive <laughs> excrement. I'm sorry. It would be hard to produce yeah. on demand. <laughs> 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 oh man! Oh, Earwax. Why are you putting all these I'm mental sorry. pictures? I know, in my right? Mind? I'm sorry. <laughs> I put it in my head too, and I was like, "Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to, everybody." Oh man. <laughs> but anyways, we find out that his power is just to whatever he touches, what that comes from his body explodes. So he, like, he's kicking Luffy, and it's exploding the whole time. It's pretty cool. Luffy's pretty much KO'd. And it looks like everybody is in trouble. And all that is left is Usopp. And Vivi. And Vivi, yeah. So. And the episode ends. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And then Sanji, but, you know. It, 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 Sanji, we don't even know We don't know what is. happened, right? <laughs> exactly, right? Which is crazy. You usually, Sanji's like the responsible-ish one. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, we're about to see anyways. For all you collectors out there, episode of Saba is now available on Blu-ray and DVD, so you can now watch it dubbed for the first time. Adventure of Nebulandia is also up for pre-order. It'll be coming out on June 18th, dubbed for the first time. These and all other episodes we talked about are available on home video at the Funimation shop on our website, so be sure to check those out and add one piece to your shelf. Episode 74, The Devilish Candle. Tears of regret and tears of anger. Oh. Oh. And tears of sadness for me. <laughs> so, where we left off, Mr. Five knocked out Luffy and trapped Vivi. And they already also have Nami and Zoro, who they trapped <laughs> in the jungle. Mm-hmm. And we learned that Mr. Three is a candle man, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is... Always surprising to me. Every yes. time a devil fruit comes in, I'm like, what is this power? You, d- you know, how, honestly, it gets even how crazier. Did we you will have no clue what some people it. do. There's some really There's cool ones. There's some really weird by ones. By now, okay, so when I first when it when I first started mm-hmm. One Piece, I was thinking, oh, okay, devil fruit power, so gum gum fruit, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. And then we saw chop chop fruit. Uh-huh. And what was the third one that we saw? The smoker, sorry, the plume, uh, uh, the plume, the plume, plume, right? 
We didn't see any more. Yeah, we saw a smooth, smooth, and we saw a plume, plume. Exactly. We didn't see, like, in between exactly. chop, chop, yeah, and then. Exactly. Yeah, and then. So, since we didn't see that many mm -hmm. devil fruits since chop, chop fruit yeah. up until yeah, plume. all the way they get to, to smoker, uh -huh. I thought for some reason that. You know, it was a limited yes. quantity of yeah. devil fruits. I was like, okay, then maybe there's like, I don't know, 10 devil fruits mm. in the world mm. with different powers. It's I'm excited to know what it is. And then suddenly yeah. there's all these powers know, right? coming up I every few episodes. I make explosive boogers. Which I, make, which I like, yes, diversity uh, yes. of powers, but it's like... I can never, whenever a new power comes on, I can't say, oh, I, this is a power that I would have thought of. That right? I would have thought of, yeah. like, none, no. none mm -hmm. of those times. You have it's no always clue. like, what? Yes. He has a power to what? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only one that maybe I could have been like, oh, okay, was Oppie's. Like, she oh, can yeah. talk to uh, animals. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. I see that. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> making wax and super <laughs> strong wax yes. uh, wasn't. I could that's have imagined point. it. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a good point. Like, I mean, like, even now, like, there's still a lot of devil fruits that I'm like, I don't understand how that one works, but, or who would have thought of something like that, but you did it. So, good on you. You did. <laughs> you made this happen somehow. <laughs> so, yeah, you're about to see a lot more, actually. In fact, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> just just keep watching. Anyways, yes, we got How do you feel um, since you... You know, you've watched the show uh -huh. before, yes. um, so you know a lot more mm -hmm. about, I bet, a lot more Devil Fruits. So yes. how do you feel like going back and starting watching like all the Devil Fruits from the beginning? I'm like, ha! And then, <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm more like, ha, for you, because I, like, I want to like let you know like more details. Like I, I told you like a little bit more before, but you're going to see uh, the next podcast episode, you're going to see... More. That's all I'll say. Okay. Yeah. Like, for example, well, how did you feel when you saw Smoker again for, oh, that, for the first time? Like, were you like, oh, right, that devil fruit exists? Or or did, or did do you remember every, every devil fruit? I remember a lot of them. Because uh, I, I remember, like, with the first time I saw Smoker, so I was like, that's so cool! You know, like, <laughs> and, like, I haven't forgot that one. I, like, I was okay. like, man, I want that. Like, at first, I was like, oh, Luffy's is pretty cool, you know? Like, it, rubber, rubber sounds like a cool idea. But then you see Smoker, you know? You see, like, how he can't be hit normally by mm -hmm. by Luffy, right? Yeah. And it's it, I was like, oh, that's the one I want. That's <laughs> cool. Like, I don't, I don't know how that would smell or how that would look, but I think that'd be cool. Yes. So okay. overall, I'll say is like I hadn't forgot it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. So yeah, Mister Three is a Candleman. Candleman. Can would I want Candleman powers? That's the, mm -hmm. the 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 next question. Would you want Candleman powers? Um, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, that, 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 I think that's a better question, the better yeah. answer, and better question. Like, would you mind if you had? Like, you ate devil fruit, mind. and you was like, oh, I'm a candle person yeah. now. I mean, I guess I would prefer we. <laughs> having uh, wax powers mm -hmm. instead of something else, mm -hmm. maybe. Like, what do you think that is the worst thing you've seen so far? Useful. Like, there, there's also um, Miss um, Valentine who can change her density, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so she can right. float or she can get real heavy. So <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of torn because I really like Apis mm -hmm. a power mm -hmm. you know talking to animals mm -hmm. and whatnot but it is a little bit useless mm -hmm. on the battlefront true you know you can't do anything Birds, help me <laughs> screw you I'm not doing that <laughs> um, <laughs> what happened what they say it says screw us why I thought you said you could talk to them yes but that doesn't mean I can convince them um, the other one I'm not sure I want is the smooth smooth fruit for yeah. anything else than yeah. dealing with these lines under my eyes <laughs> <laughs> you just need more sleep. You'll be okay, right? <laughs> right. Like I was like, mm, um, that probably not be sure. the worst one yeah. I think so far. I mean, she can't get hit, right? Because she's yeah. so smooth. It is smooth. So, so it's, it's sort of useful, yes. but not in an offensive way. No, nah, exactly. I mean, if you're weak, then it's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> dang it, <laughs> right? But you get like Kobe, then you get cut like Kobe, and then you can hurt people. I don't know. So I get. I guess those two were be the one so far that I would be like, nah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah I feel that. I, I think so far, if I had to say it, one I don't want, honestly, smooth, smooth fruit. You know? Yeah, like, I think that's the one that's like, would be like the lowest rank so exactly, far. Yeah. So far. Uh, exactly. 
But then there's there's some dope points you're about to see, so we dun, gonna dun, see. Dun. We gonna see. So Mr. Three traps the giant and walks mm-hmm. and tells him, you know, his motives. Mm-hmm. Um, they're to turn him in so that way they yeah. get his bounty, mm-hmm. which is pretty cool. And they're actually doing it. They actually got these guys, these giant who are really tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but in, he captured him in his wax of all things. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah, when you say candles, like, so you just make these yeah, you, you, crappy candles. You think about that flimsy. Yeah, exactly. Know, Not this one right here. Uh, and also, we even see them inside of a giant rotating pumpkin thing i don't i don't really know what this power is and why you have to make it rotate why you can't just automatic uh, you have well, to cause, torture them he's making it he's making it rain because <laughs> uh, right. yeah the the giant rotating head has like it's lit weird, candles if you don't know on top yeah like it's hard to describe this thing it's yeah. like uh it's like a top that has a pumpkin head on top of it mm-hmm. that is a, which has candles um and the candles are melting wax and as it spins, it's spreading wax on the people below. Yeah. And all the people below are petrifying, and they are breathing in this wax. Mm-hmm. So. so he's doing, like, some of, you know, Madame Tussauds Ooh. sort of deal. Ooh. Creepy Ooh. Madame yeah, right. Tussauds. <laughs> yeah, right? Make your own museum right there, right? <laughs> so it, it's, 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 that's messed up, though. I mean, mm-hmm. it's like, you could just kill them. Nah, I'm going to yeah. torture them. Yeah, and he traps wax. them, right? Yeah. He traps them. They can't move. Like, their legs are... Stuck in the hard wax, uh, and the, the giant can't move. You know these people aren't going to even move. Yeah, and so who's tra- it's Soro, Vivi, and Nami mm-hmm. are trapped, right? Yes. And then the giants, also the yes. giants also trapped. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Yeah. Horrible times. So, back to Luffy. While everybody's getting waxed, uh, Karu is helping Luffy out of the rock. He's like sort of using his beak to dig a hole mm-hmm. so that Luffy can get out and just in time because Zoro has had a big idea mm-hmm. and he wants to cut his legs off mm-hmm. to escape and fight. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Zoro, boo, no. <laughs> like, how are you? I was like, yes, How man. does that work? <laughs> I mean, if you cut off your legs, you will not be able to move Not anyways. your whole legs, just your ankles. But, uh, how do you walk <laughs> without ankles? I don't know, ma'am. Some people do it. <laughs> um, I mean, with assistance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking in my head, I was like, yeah, man, you got to do what you got to do. Cut off your legs. Do it, do it, do <laughs> it. Use your swords. I wouldn't even like in the antagonistic way of like, yeah, do it, because I just want to see you in pain. It's more like, yeah, you, someone has to do something. I don't know. So you just got to cut your legs up, use oh your swords as stilts, and then at least go for somebody. Go for number three, shank them, and then... Hopefully, the how is he going to go for anybody? You 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 do yourself like uh, skis, you know, <laughs> it's like cut your legs off. All right. And then you you ski down the, the candle wax. Cut, I know. And then you, you know. use your ski things. What are they called? The the ski, the ski sticks. I don't know. I don't ski that often in Texas, you know. Sorry. <laughs> so you use your ski sticks. You stab Mr. Three. See, I thought about this. It isn't clearly me and Zoro. Like, cause I was thinking, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> Ladies are like, don't do it, Zoro. That's dumb. I'm like, what do you mean that's dumb? Someone has to do something. What? What? What are you gonna do? Just stay here? <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god. Anyway. Meanwhile, I'm here like Zoro, don't do it. I was on the girl side. I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> this will do absolutely nothing other than leave you without legs. <laughs> For me, I was like, you know, we gotta make sacrifices, and if this sacrifice he has to make, I'm sorry. I'm not sure it would have been effective, honestly. I think he would have got somebody. <laughs> <laughs> At least someone. He would have got somebody. I think he would have got Even Mr. if it was Mrs. Oh, uh, Miss, Miss Golden Week. Miss Golden Week. <laughs> <laughs> just a little girl. Paints with her blood. And I'm, I'm just so dark. Oh, Anyways. No. <laughs> anyway. So, luckily, though, as he's about to cut off his legs, uh, Luffy, Usopp, and Karu get there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, woo. Yeah, me too. I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> he So, he just cut halfway through his legs. Mm. now. Hey, semi sacrifice. Mm-hmm. At least we know he was for real. That for me, I was he like, he was for real. Yeah, so, which I was like, my man Zoro, was like, he was, like he was, real. he was real. He wasn't just talking big game. He was like, I'll do it if I got to. Yeah. So yeah. Good. And this is the only time that actually Zoro voluntarily sits 
out of a fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. When Luffy gets there, he's like, oh, okay, I don't have to cut my legs off completely anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just going to stay here and yeah, let yeah, Luffy yeah. deal with it, which is very unlike Zoro. Uh, <laughs> which, yeah, that's a good point. Although it is like, yeah, to what, what can you do? Yeah. Which is pretty cool, you know? Like, it's not going to be him complaining the whole time of like, Oh, I want to help, but I can't. It's like, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Good luck, Luffy and you guys. Also, I think it helps that there wasn't a swordsman yes. involved. Yes. Because then it would have been a it different issue. It would have been that, yeah, exactly. I think. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, anyways. That's where the episode ends. Yeah, that's a good point. And we have a new ending already. I know. That, uh, that shocked me. I was yeah. like, this is like 10 episodes or yeah. something like that, right? Yeah. I think so. Oh, well. More like 10 episodes so I didn't even get to learn the lyrics of oh you got me heart and soul you got my heart and soul <laughs> yeah so now we're now we're to the mystery ish song I don't know I yeah I don't sort know. Of it has like a funky it makes yeah. you think of Scooby Doo yeah. Like, yeah and it has like a more uh, dark darker toned yeah. images mm-hmm. like they're all in a black background yes. sort of. Uh-huh. So, so hey. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, I know. I mean, mean. I, I they're not giving me enough time to exactly. feel you anything can't about put it. The emotions yeah. with it exactly. Yeah. Like I mean, we we fell in love with um the first song as a kid. As a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, I just found out that song is called Memories. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Memories. Uh-huh. And then I found out who sings it. And I'm not going to bring up who sings it yet too much detail until uh someone we meet pretty soon. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I'll say. Okay. Mm-hmm. But when we meet them, then yes. can you, you come back to that? Yes. Because I'm curious. Oh, yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to see if we can even get them as a guest. We'll see. Ooh, Ooh. interesting. Mm-hmm. Moving on to episode 75 mm-hmm. A Hex on Luffy, Colors Trap. So this is a fun episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it, it's a fun episode, like where we get to see uh, Usopp and Luffy and Karu, uh-huh. you know, do their fighting. So it's a bit silly. Yes, because they they it's an episode where they face Miss Golden Week. Yes, <laughs> where and she's a little girl. Yeah, so we, you're like, we haven't seen how her do anything gonna, but yeah. eat this whole time, right? Because like, it's sort of like she's just this chick who's just chilling the most mm-hmm. of the time, and just like I, she just doesn't care really what's yeah. happening. As long as you can just chill and eat. Uh, everyone's happy that Luffy's here, and they're like, Luffy, knock down the thing. Knock down the, the spinning <laughs> yeah. wax thing. Before we were petrified. Oh, my gosh. So he knocks. He hits it, but it ends up making the top spin faster. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, what happened? So yeah. we're, we're really going to die. That's, so he's not helping. That, it made it worse, actually. And Zoro does something hilarious yes. where he starts uh, making a pose with his sword up oh, in the air my God. pointing to the sky uh, and now he's like what are you doing or I think it's Vivi who asks yes. him and he's like well if I'm gonna die I might as well have a cool pose Go you know? like a boss right? and <laughs> which I think he has Something there, a you good know. mindset. Like I mean, because the girls are like, my throat hurts and uh-huh. it's hard to breathe. But he's like, ah. Uh, yeah, if you're gonna be frozen forever and walk, mm-hmm. you might as well, right? You know, do a cool thing instead of being, you know, frozen forever with a cry face, right? <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. But there are like, hey, Luffy, if you could do this faster, that'd be better. But <laughs> if not, don't worry, we're gonna pose. So, <laughs> so, um. Usopp, Usopp's running around with Karu, and Luffy's trying to fight, but he's getting stumped because Miss Golden Week starts doing her stuff, where then Miss Golden Week starts drawing on them. So mm-hmm. what she does is she draws uh, a black symbol on on, on the floor. Luffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the first floor. one is exactly. on the floor, uh-huh. yeah. and Luffy steps on it. Yes. Uh, and each Why would of her... you step on anything that you see? Yeah, yeah. it looks super weird. Mm-hmm. It's just a symbol on the right. floor. It's super weird. I know, right? You, just, you see a magical person draw something. <laughs> I'm not stepping anywhere near that. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, and each of the colors that she makes does something. Mm-hmm. So this black color makes people want to betray their friends? Yeah, or just do the opposite. Just do the opposite. Yeah, do the opposite of what uh, he wants to do. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, He's so he steps in it and he's like, I'm not gonna help you guys. And he's like, What are you talking about? I don't feel like it. Yeah, I'm gonna betray you guys. <laughs> At least we know he was for real. He's yeah, like, he was for real. Yes, now he's like, Help us. And he's like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> right, he could have been like, Sure, I'll help you guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, wait, wasn't that supposed to be the opposite? 
I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I actually didn't want to help you guys. <laughs> I wonder if Usopp stepped in and what would have happened. Maybe like, figures it out, though, mm-hmm. and she tells him the opposite. He's like, don't you dare help us. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm going to save you, and he helps them. <laughs> <laughs> he's a simple-minded guy. He's like, yeah. okay, I won't help you guys. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I'm going to help you guys. Mm-hmm. So then um, Miss Golden Week then draws uh, a yellow symbol on his shirt. Um, so... Like see so yeah like I, like what happens what happens is um like the black symbol's still there but because Karu and Usopp are running around still being chased by Mister Five, um and I think Mister Three like they're being chased around so uh, they mess up they skid over the black symbol and uh, it frees Luffy so then but before Luffy's able to do anything, um Miss Golden Week draws a yellow symbol on his shirt and he starts laughing yeah. and he doesn't <laughs> stop until uh, Karu and Usopp accidentally smudge the paint off and uh, then he's freed from laughing. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? It's like that's that's something else. And then what happens is immediately she paints the red. So she paints red on the ground. Luffy's trying to punch. Like he's like, okay, I'm free. I'm gonna punch. And then, and then you can only aim at this spot. It's like the yeah. bull, bullfighting, which is so dumb. I'm like, Luffy, please just, I don't know, just, I don't know, just don't, whatever. Just stop trying. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Something. <laughs> punch the little girl and then we'll, we'll be good, right? <laughs> And, but then uh, immediately before like uh, anyone was able to help him out with that, she paints green on his shirt, and is it tranquilizes him. It just mellows him out and makes him super chill. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't want, want to do anything. He doesn't want to do anything. He just wants to drink tea and eat mm-hmm. rice crackers. Sip his tea, but you can see him struggling like, on the inside. I want to uh, go, wise. but I need to be chill. It's so nice this tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So Usopp's trying to to get Luffy to snap out of these things but all at the same time he's trying to survive because he's being chased by Mr. Five mm-hmm. uh, and Carew's also running with him too so. yeah and that's don't, where it ends don't. I know right that was it was a funny episode yeah <laughs> <laughs> it, was just, it was just a lot of struggle it, it hurt me because just for like oh my gosh can someone please help these guys you know <laughs> see I know what it's like to have asthma I don't, yeah. I don't have asthma now yeah but... you're like it shouldn't be this hard guys yes, I know right <laughs> it's, it's a little girl <laughs> I know right it's like I'm 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 struggling the most with uh, with them, you know. I can only imagine how annoyed Vivian and Nami are. Zoro's <laughs> yeah. pretty zen. He's like eh. striking the pose. If I do it, I die. <laughs> oh, that's all good. For this week's social question, I asked on both the Twitter page that we have, which is One Piece Anime, and also our Facebook, which is One Piece Official. I asked if you were stuck in Mister Three's wax trap. And we're about to be turned to wax figure. What pose would you try to create? And would you be like Zoro, or you know, would you, would you try to, you know, would you tough it out? <laughs> I got a lot of good answers. I can't show you a lot of these answers because a lot of them showed me One Piece answers, and also I can't. It's hard to describe um, physical answers, unfortunately, <laughs> with um, with only my voice. But I'm gonna try. So uh, Fabian T nine three one two. He has a lot of digits. F Taurus, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he on Twitter said he would try. I would pose like I'm in the Ginyu Force from Dragon Ball Z. I like that. I'm not sure which particular Ginyu Force character, but they're all winning. Yeah, so here's this. Oh, okay, yeah. I see. Yeah, this uh, seizure-inducing g- gif right here. <laughs> uh, Aziz underscore Mansoor ninety three said he would do a, a Freddie Mercury pose. You know, like oh. fist in the air. I like that. Uh, Monkey, uh, so we have Emperor Luffy. We we all I, I like choosing his answers honestly, <laughs> but uh, Emperor Luffy said that uh, it would do. Actually, I don't even know who, which uh, wrestling figure this is, but like it's like the. Do you know this wrestling guy? It's a wrestling yeah, guy. A wrestling guy, like who's doing like a a very, like I mean he's posing correct. Like I'm feeling the pose myself. He's standing up on the on the rungs and he cocks back and brings his arms back and just mm, drink it all in. I like it. <laughs> We got some JoJo poses. You um, you gotta watch JoJo's. That's next. <laughs> <laughs> JoJo's is a great show. Even when in my own picture, I did some JoJo poses. <laughs> so you know, po- JoJo is what taught me to pose. You know, Arturo said he would moon. He would pull down his pants and moon. <laughs> Mr. Three. That is a very vulnerable position, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I didn't even think about that actually. And then John said that. Uh, he, he would do the Dark Souls Praise the Sun. That's where you pull your arms up side to side and you look up to the sun 
and you praise the sun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lot of good answers. You have to like look at these because a lot of them are yeah. gifts. Yeah, a lot of them are gifts uh, that a little hard to describe if you don't know what the the content is. And also, unfortunately, there might be some spoilers uh, from what happens later on in One Piece. So, yeah. <laughs> Once we get there, I will let you know. Like that's what that one person wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Anyways, great answers. Thank you, everybody, for your answers. All right, we're back. My name is Gazul and Ugwa, and my mission statement today is to work on my posing skills. I'm going <laughs> to get out of this, and I'm going to work on my matrix. I think that is going to also be my Ooh. mission statement. Ooh. Well, let me show I'm you. Jocelyn M. Rios, and I will also work on my posing skills. I, I like feel like that. I would do like a rock star rock pose. Star, okay. Yeah, just like See, that's beginner hands level. in the sky. That's beginner level right there. You think so? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, po- I, guess I, enough. I guess I am a one piece beginner, so no, it's fitting. I'll show you the ways. I'll show you the ways, all right? JoJo's and oh, One Piece taught me. Oh, man. So, um, okay. So, first of all, you got to get your arm right. You got to put your face right. Boom. Okay. Bend backwards at okay. least at least 60 degrees. I right? feel like we're going to have to show people what these are. I'm going to take a picture, are. right? I'm going to take, take a picture. picture and yes. we're going to post it. Yes. So and I'm going to see who can it. outpose me. Look for it on there our Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> who can outpose me? I don't think so. <laughs> I learned all I know from anime. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the knowledge. I got Power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> <laughs> you can also watch One Piece and learn your posing skills with uh, all the anime episodes on Funimation now and also on Funimation.com slash One Piece. And you can also get it for your home video collection. You know, if you want to pause, you know, easier, you know, maybe frame <laughs> by frame so you can learn the way to pose in One Piece. The best way to do it is with the DVDs you can get on our shop. So get that. Moving on to episode 76. Time to fight back. Usopp's quick thinking and Firestar. Hmm. So Ooh, Usopp. Usopp's quick thinking. Mm-hmm. Usopp's about to put some moves on, which Usopp's I'm proud gonna, about. Mm-hmm. Usopp's going to save the day. Mm-hmm. So Usopp's running with Karu. Mm-hmm. He's riding Karu, right? Mm-hmm. And- Finally. <laughs> For a long time, Karu <laughs> yeah. was leaving him behind. Yeah. I'm like, Karu, I know you're scared, but chill out. <laughs> Let me get on top first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is why you're wearing a seat, Karu. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, God. So uh, Usopp is quick to think and he the slingshot uh he uses it to use a fire star and he sets luffy's shirt on fire yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of the green symbol i know right hopefully we stop this although at the same time it's like couldn't you just paint on his skin that'd be probably worse right oh, that's well. true i don't know anyways it works out where but at least it, he's it, not trapped anymore. it worked out for yeah. this particular part right here where uh Luffy's free. You know, he can finally fight. And mm-hmm. we're about to see all I need to fight. And uh, honestly, things are looking pretty bad for the three that are stuck in the candle trap. Um, yeah, they're almost frozen. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Zoro oh. was right to strike a pose because by now he's almost frozen <laughs> yep. in his I would hate to pose. be those guys. That, <laughs> yeah. that sucks. So, yeah, Mr. Three, he comes out in this Gundam, of all things. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> comes out in a Gundam that has been painted by Miss Golden Week who ran away. Um, she she painted it in different colors to apparently boost it up, but um, and like so it also like stops Luffy from being able to do so much damage to it. Unfortunately, so like it mm-hmm. it makes his Gundam stronger. Um, and Usopp's trying to help out with that too, but it's just not working because also he's still being chased by Mister Five, um, and is now trying to fight this Gundam. Mm-hmm. Um, but he does a really smart thing though. Like as he's doing this and running with Karu, he sets this giant fuse that is lit with oil mm-hmm. and he wraps it around many places so that way uh, it can be set on fire and it's actually looking pretty bad for him like when he's trying to yeah. set this on fire because Miss uh, Miss Valentine um, she's about to crush Usopp you know? mm-hmm. like she finally caught Usopp uh, she her. stopped him and you know she's sitting on him I think yeah she's sitting on him yeah um, and increasing her weight the whole time where it's just not looking good for him. Yeah, you know? he's about to get crushed. Mm-hmm. Ah. Poor guy. But uh, luckily, he sets the thing on fire with the help of Karu, mm-hmm. and the whole thing goes up on flames. Yes. And as that happens, um, everyone's freed. Yay! Yay! And the hot girls come out. And <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, right. They come out, and they knock away Miss Valentine, and then Zoro comes out and is able to chop up uh is able to chop up Mr. Three, which is pretty cool out of Gundam. Yeah. Yay, everyone's pretty good. Yeah, they make uh, Mr. Three and Miss Golden Week make a run for it, and Luffy goes after Mr. Three. <laughs> and there's a funny 
bit here because uh, Mr. Three does this like wax house trick <sighs> where he like multiplies himself uh-huh. and he's like, ah, oh, you won't be able to find the Square real am one. I? Where <laughs> am I? And Luffy just punches the real <laughs> one immediately. Oh like God. he just knew which one it was. Like, and I, because first of, I at first I was like, oh no, this fight is gonna keep going. I but know. now it just. <laughs> And then in a minute. <laughs> that was nice. I was happy because I was like, oh, no, this is going to take a while, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. And then Karu deals with Miss Golden Week. And, <laughs> yeah. Man, even Karu got some revenge, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, which I think so. is fair. You got to get where you can get it, right? Mm-hmm. So, and then, but then we cut to Sanji, actually. Yeah. yeah which, this where was guy, Sanji this all this guy, time? <laughs> then, to be fair, it's like, okay, fine, I guess. But at the same time, it's like... Really, man? You didn't think about anything? Yeah. He went to the ship with his T-Rex mm-hmm. or whatever yeah, it was he had. Yeah, he, yeah, he had a T-Rex. Mm-hmm. And, and he was like, where's everybody? <laughs> he was like, huh, let me look around. So yeah. then he finds a house. He finds a, a wax house like in the middle of the spot like, as he's searching for everybody. And he hears a phone go off. <laughs> yes. He finds a transporter, yeah. transponder yeah. <laughs> that... Uh, one of the snail things that the a giant snail that for some reason is able to make phone calls. Yeah, and they we've seen it before, like the marine. We've seen marines okay. use it. I was like, when, who used it? Before? Yeah, yeah. Um, the rat marine on uh, on Naomi's yeah, island. Island Park, uh-huh. Yeah, he called to put the bounty on Luffy. Uh, he used the transponder to okay. to do that. Uh, okay. and the snail does the voice of the person. <laughs> what do you th- what do you think about that when you first saw that cuz I was like I don't know how that works. Mm-hmm. Cuz like, I, I didn't remember that part, but I remember this part and I was thinking like oh man, shit, I like this weird bit. How do these snails communicate with each other? Like the antenna. <laughs> is, is it snail waves? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> because the voice comes out, right? The same. Uh, the same. Yes. So it, it's like a transmission yes. of sorts. Uh-huh. So I'm not sure if it's snail magic or <laughs> if, it, if it works on batteries. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> you can bring it wherever you go, which is great. I, yeah. I honestly don't know, which is a great point. Maybe maybe the information is out there. I just wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, anyways, he... So, he, he picks up. Yes. And on the other line is Mr. Zero. Mr. Zero. What? Nani? Mr. Crocodile. The end of dun, the dun, episode. Dun, 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 dun. Is done. What will happen? We don't know. We don't know. Viz just released a One Piece manga, Omnibus Edition Volume 27 in March. That's three volumes in one, so go grab your copy right now. And spoiler alert, Luffy cranks up the gears to take on Doflamingo. Also, the newest volume, One Piece Volume 90, comes out May 7th. And spoiler alert there, the Straw Hats are on the way to Wano, but Big Mom stands in the way. Will they ever make it out of Whole Cake Island? Find out. Episode 77, Farewell Giant Island, Head for Alabasta. So, mm-hmm. it looks like we're about to finish things in this particular episode, which yes, is Yes, nice. this is a farewell episode. Like we mentioned before, I like that we have, like, a farewell episode yes. every time uh-huh. an adventure ends. Yes. It's not just like adventure we ends. We gotta go. go. Oh no. We gotta go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, there's nice. a farewell. Well, except for Whiskey Peak, actually, now that I think about it. They just ran off on That's that true. one. Yeah, there wasn't But any they party. were escaping. They already partied anyways. They had escaped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it definitely felt a scarier situation yeah. versus um, these other situations they've been in. I mean, even like Logtown mm-hmm. like, or Logtown, um, when they're escaping that. This sort of had like a more a bit a bigger farewell, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, the bad guys have been dealt with for the most part. Yeah, and Broggy is having a hard time. He's mm-hmm. crying because, well, he thinks he killed Dory, mm-hmm. but turns like, out Dory's alive. Yay! yay. So everything is good mm-hmm. <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. Uh, and then we go, cut back to Sanji, who um, is still talking to Mister Zero, and Mister Zero is asking. Mr. Zero's asking him, like, did you take care of the Straw Hats? And Zanji's playing along really smartly. I, I can't imagine someone else like, yeah. well, we're right here. <laughs> Luffy would have sucked at this. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I'm right here. Don't kill me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. But luckily, Sanji's smart. And mm-hmm. he's like, yeah, 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 it's all good. Yeah. Uh, but then, the, and it's like, the Mr. Zero's like, okay, cool. I got an eternal pose for you. Um, so make your way to Alabasta at once. Now that you did the job. And the unluckies, so that otter and the vulture who who appear suddenly uh, and, you know, are the espionage, I guess, of the 
the Baroque works. They come, they bring the, the eternal pose, but they're like, wait, you're not the dude. <laughs> <laughs> so then they bring their weapons out and they start fighting. Sanji beats him pretty easily while he's still on the phone. He's like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he snapped the neck of the, the bird. Like, I was like, that it was a cool way he snapped it, honestly. Yeah. Like, he just grabbed on with his feet, turned up. Like, like he grabbed it with his feet and then turned 180 degrees. And I was like, wait, this is not Al. That, that vulture is probably dead. Yeah. And then he kicks the otter into the the house and it just sort of falls over bloody. I was like, geez, that one, if that one's still alive, has brain damage. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So... And then he goes back to the phone. He's like, oh, yeah, sorry. I thought, like, look like Luffy was still alive, but I took care of him now. And Mrs. Zero's like, I thought you said you took care of all of them. Uh-huh. Mm. He's suspicious a little bit. Mm. But they end up, like, he ends up being okay. He's like, okay, if you mm. say so. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, then we ha- we see, like, a, a scene where... Uh, Crocodile sends All Sunday, Miss All Sunday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. to tell Mr. Two Mm -hmm. to go get rid of Mr. Three. Jeez. And I'm like, I didn't understand how that went. Like, I'm not sure if since he probably thought Sanji was Mr. Three and then Sanji sort of messed up. Now he doesn't trust him because he lied. I think it's that. It's that. If anything, like, he put so much emphasis on, like, hmm. Something you said that has worked. Yeah. What are you trying to tell me, guy? So I think it's that, but I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see soon Let's enough, see. anyways. Yeah. Um, he's like, he still told Mister Two to come to Alabasta, so mm-hmm. we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, and then Sanji comes back to the crew and tells him everything that just happened with his phone call. You know, they're, they're mad at him for a second, but it's like, wait, you did a good thing, so this is great. Uh, <laughs> not uh, he sees an eyeful at Nami, you know, like it's not her clothes are pretty much. Yeah. Her. Only has her her tap out and he's like oh my god what a great day <laughs> oh but god. he then puts his coat on her he's yes. like Nami you so, can't be walking around like that you're gonna catch a cold good guy good guy Sanji, good guy, Sanji. right after being creepy Sanji I for know, a bit right? for a second at least he's not permanently creepy well I mean he's permanently creepy but at least not like just 100%. it's not in a bad way yes. I think I've mentioned this before mm. at least for now I don't know what happens with Sanji in the future and how creepy he will get but uh, uh, at least for now, he always gawks, <laughs> mm. but from a distance. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it doesn't seem like he's too pushy yet. Mm-hmm. At, yes. at least he's not getting any nosebleeds so mm-hmm. far, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> so far. Keep watching. <laughs> yeah, so far. Yeah, so. <laughs> Anyways, he presents his eternal pose. So, this is supposed to be the compass that will take him directly to Alabaster. So, yay! We don't have to keep on going island to island and we have to wait at a uh, little garden for a year. So, Everything is going to be good, right? Mm-hmm. Well. And they're they're going to leave. They're getting ready to leave. Say goodbye to their f- new friends, the Giants. Mm-hmm. And then they make a very cool exit. Yes. Actually. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Like, I, I love this exit, actually. Like, where um, the Giants are like, okay, keep going straight. Don't deviate from course. Just keep going straight whenever you leave this island. No matter what. And this part reminded me a bit when... When Usopp told oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Luffy to go straight north, uh-huh. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to go wrong. Uh-huh. But, but I mean, uh-huh. Nami's obviously a better navigator than Luffy is, yes. so it all goes well. <laughs> yes, exactly. It works out really well. So the the, the giants are giving me, like, their, their benediction, I guess. You know, like, they're like, all right, just go north, and you guys have been brave, and we definitely appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. And we don't remember what we're fighting for, but we appreciate you guys for everything you guys did with us. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... Dun, dun, dun. A giant fish, <laughs> giant goldfish pops out. Yeah. And and they the giants call this one the the island eater because mm-hmm. it's bigger, it's way bigger than everything that we've seen. Actually, as big as the island. Yeah. So and apparently anyone that tries to leave the little garden through normal methods gets eaten by this fish. Mm-hmm. So the giants like as this fish comes up, the giants do a move which actually. Which was pretty cool to see. I didn't know that they did this. They did like a move, like with the user weapons, and like they charge it up. The weapons are charging like blue and red, mm-hmm. which is weird to me. I was like, okay, <laughs> and, got powers. Yeah, it was like, okay. I didn't know you guys did this. Like, you guys should have done this to see each other. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Skip a hundred years. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, they did this and they they shoot a beam at this at the fish and it causes it. To, uh, it just 
cuts a big hole in this fish. Mm -hmm. And if they had deviated, they would have been cut by the beam. Mm -hmm. But because they didn't deviate, they rode the energy of the beam. So it let them be free. Yeah, they sort of uh, navigated into the mouth of the goldfish, mm -hmm. and then the beam uh, took them through the backside. Yeah, exactly. Took uh -huh. them through back through the back of the head Jeez. of the the newly fresh of the goldfish cut open. Yeah, head and the ship the, the ship just jumped out of the head, which yeah, looked pretty awesome. That, was that cool. screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and Usopp was like. As always, you know, not dealing well. Although yeah. I thought he would have been happy because he loved that it's story the about the gi fish. giant goldfish in oh Poop gosh. Island. Uh -huh. So I thought he would have been happy. I didn't realize that like that could have been like the the story he told until you told me. I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, He's the one with the giant poop that's like the size of an island. Because <laughs> the funny thing is, the giants were like, man, that thing makes a lot of poop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like it's almost as big as an island. I was like, wow, this is mm -hmm. great. So that's the end of this episode. That's, that was a great end to the episode. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And we're on to a new adventure. Hey. hey. Episode 78. Nami's sick. Beyond the snow falling on the sea. Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, this episode begins with a pretty nice uh, story. Pretty. Um, we get to see a flashback of why the giants were fighting in the first place. Hmm. When the episode, last episode ended, I figured, you know, that was the end of it. And yeah, right. we never found out, you know, I think I even forgot about the fact that they were fighting about something that they didn't remember. Mm -hmm. um, but we actually got to find out. Um, they were on a hunting contest too. Oh and God. the fight was about the size of the two sea kings mm -hmm. that they caught. Yeah. Which one was bigger? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and so, then the little girl was like, so which one was bigger? Mm -hmm. And then that's when they're like, well, we can't figure this out, so we gotta fight this whole time. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And a hundred years later, Here still fighting. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Zora and Sanji should make up you know, make this a lesson for them. You Although should, they never figure this out. To, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And also, luckily, they both have something bigger than just this pride fight here, which is mm -hmm. good. Because if it was just this, then I think they would exactly been in this situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also feel like the because after the crew leaves, the volcano uh, makes a signal, and the two giants go back at it. Um, even though all of this just happened, so... Also, their weapons are gone now, so I guess yeah. they're just punching each other now. I guess. Oh, well, that's I mean, them. yeah, <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, they're just doing this because it's something to do. I At mean, this point, yeah. Yeah, and they have, like, no one else I to guess. talk to I guess, but it's or like, to relate to. I guess, but... It's so like, maybe it's, it's become their thing. Because you, you see, know? like, they came from a spot, you know, like a, a land of giants, right? Mm -hmm. Why not go back there? I don't know. Maybe they you know, can't. Cut. They probably can. There's a lot of trees. Or go find the <laughs> They can make king. a ship. I don't know. Yeah, how to get there in the first place. True. I mean, how are they going to get out once they once someone dies? <laughs> I don't know. They can figure it out. They're just not trying to. They're just like, well, let's just do what we always do. <laughs> but anyways. And then we also see, like, apparently, like, the mountains um, that were formed on uh, this island were apparently from the sea kings that they brought there as part of this hunting raid. And it just actually uh, desiccated so much, you know, like it, mm -hmm. like it lost all its meat and just turned to fossils. And yeah. now people or things live in the the bones, which is uh -huh. crazy, huge. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Oh well. So uh, the crew is on their way then, you know, to try and go to Alabasta, um, and uh, something nice happens. Like I want to make a point of this yeah. because Sanji makes uh like pastries uh -huh. for the girls uh -huh. and he brings them over to the girls uh -huh. and they're like i made you these pastries with your choice of tea and coffee uh -huh. and he actually made for everybody uh -huh. but he tells the rest of the guys like hey uh -huh. you can go get your own in the kitchen uh -huh. you know i'm just being nice <laughs> at least for he, the girls at least he did it for everybody but <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, he, if he didn't do it for the guys i would be like hmm but at least yeah yeah he, well he's I a cook like for service. everybody yes yeah at least the service but is nice i like that the you know yes. the girls get in a little extra okay. he's always trying to be nice <laughs> Yes. yes, that's true. That's a good point. Try to get in, yeah. But, yeah. You know, you know, live your life. It's nice. It's not like he's exactly like, you're going to give this to me now because I've been doing this for you for so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, He's a nice guy. But uh, at that point, we see that Nami isn't doing too well. 
she's 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 not she when she was on the island of little garden she noticed like as she got out of the fire and they beat everybody up that she had like a spot on her stomach that felt like she'd been bitten and then now really? she, yeah i yeah. didn't notice that mm-hmm. yeah mm. like i just saw that like so she said that she wasn't feeling too well on the island after the fact and you see like a red spot on her stomach mm. but now it's gotten worse like that she's on uh, the boat and everyone's like ah, i shouldn't hopefully it's not too bad mm-hmm. yeah but we see that it progresses and her fever gets worse and worse up to the point that uh vivi sa- says like we all know Alabasta is a priority. And even Nami's like, yeah, we should continue on to Alabasta because, yeah, they're in a hurry because of the war happening there. Um, but she's like, hey, we have to get to Alabasta, but we need to get Nami mm-hmm. a doctor. So I really like that, uh, you know, Vivi knows how to prioritize, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Um, so, yeah, and everybody's, like, not dealing well with Nami <laughs> <laughs> being sick. Like, Luffy is losing it. He's mm. like, wake up. Wake <laughs> up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, she needs some rest, man. Leave yeah, her alone. Yeah, leave her mm-hmm. alone. She's got fever, man. <laughs> right, but, oh, well, that's leave it for you, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, so they, like, even while Nami is sick, though, she still won't stop working. Like, she's doing yeah, a pretty good true. job. Yeah, that's true. And, like, because she understands, like, how important this whole trip is anyways. Uh, and there's even a situation that was pretty cool. Like as um, you know, she's really falling ill. She can't stand up too well. She's telling everyone to switch courses immediately because she senses that something's coming. And we see, um, you know, like by her telling everyone to switch courses, they were able to survive an incoming cyclone. Mm-hmm. And you know, like if she wasn't awake, then who knows what would have happened to them? They would have sailed right into it. Mm-hmm. So good stuff on her. Yeah. And then at the end of the episode, uh, they see this random man <laughs> just standing on top of the water. Mm-hmm. And it looks like an archer mm-hmm. of sorts. And yeah, they just see him there. <laughs> and that's where, where the episode ends. Mm. Like, super weird. All right. Yeah, another good start <laughs> right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> episode 79, a raid, the Tin Tyrant and Tin Plate Wapple. 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 Mm. Wapple. <laughs> so. I like saying that guy's name. So, yeah, this dude, Jesus, is that you? Jesus. He's just standing what? in the water, and he's just commenting on the weather. He's like, it's pretty chilly out, right? And we're like, what, how fine, are you standing right? in the water? Uh-huh. Like, how about you tell us that? <laughs> right. Like, oh, you know, just doing mm-hmm. my thing. Yeah. Right. But then we see that he's actually standing on top of a submarine-capable pirate ship that just emerges from the water man and i'm mind blown i'm yeah. like there's pirates under the water too yes you gonna see <laughs> you gonna see so yes and also they're not even just underwater they are cold themed pirates yes. yeah they're dressed with furs mm-hmm. and fur hats it's been a while since we have had a theme really, that's right? true uh-huh. we haven't had a themed crew since black cats since black cats Wow. Technically Arlong, but... Oh, yeah. Mm. Fish, the Fishmen. But, yeah, that's a group of people, right? So, mm-hmm. I would say Arlong. Or Arlong, but, like, technically Black Cat Pirates, which is a long time ago. Yeah, we got that, um, those guys, and they're weird. Especially, li- they're led by a guy named Wapple, mm-hmm. who has um, the tin plate mouth, which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he's eating his... He has some food. He comes out, greets him, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> He starts, he eats his meat, then he eats his knife that he's eating the meat with, and he eats uh, part of the ship. Yeah. And he just takes a bite of the ship. He just takes a chunk of the Mary oh and he God. eats it. Luffy loses it. I, I always <laughs> feel, too, it's like, yo, you just ate my crew guy right there. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, these pirates start trying to raid uh, the Straw Hats, but they repel them pretty easily, which is nice. Uh, and <laughs> But as they're doing this, Luffy is starting to get eaten, by, by Wapple. Wapple. I was like, Do what? you think? Uh, I'm trying to th- think how this went on. Mm-hmm. Like, because he's chewing on Luffy, right? But mm-hmm. Luffy's rubber mm-hmm. is that? Does that it's count tough. as gum? Mm-hmm. That's tough meat, right? right here. I don't like, know about like, this. Does it feel like rubber? Like, as if he was <laughs> biting on a rubber a band, mm-hmm. or how does it feel? <laughs> That's a great question. I would think so, actually. I like that. That was a good question. 
Well, anyways, luckily, uh, he doesn't get too far. You know, it's not like luckily missing um, an elbow. Because we learned that Wapple has a devil fruit power called the Munch Munch Fruit. Yeah. It is probably the crappiest one so far. <laughs> yes. It's like, what? Yeah, I would definitely take Oppies first. Oh, absolutely. Because... <laughs> It's like, hmm, ability to eat anything, but yeah. it sounds like... I don't want to eat anything. No, me too. Like, I like good food, but I don't, I'm not a huge foodie, really, you know? Yeah, and I don't want to be able to eat knives and uh, ships. Mm-hmm. Like, I just want I'm gonna food. I'm going to eat this door. Yeah, right? I I'm going to eat this wall. I'm good with just eating food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is made out of chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> so, Luffy deals with him, sends him out with the gum gum bazooka. Pretty quickly, too. Yeah, right? Like, it wasn't like a... It was like a five, ten minutes... No, I, I even 10 minutes, like five minute fight. Mm-hmm. I'm like, cool. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> okay, I guess this is an iron, iron body was his name? Mm, full body. Full body. Mm-hmm. Iron fist. Mm-hmm. Situation mm-hmm. where they just, you know, had a quick fight. Kind of you know, mm-hmm. just a normal day for pirate. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. So he sends him off with a gum gum bazooka. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah, the rest of the pirates leave to try and go find him before he drowns because <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a devil, devil fruit. fruit user, yeah, yeah, so... So good guys. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he yeah, didn't right. drown. <laughs> for hopefully all we he know. did. Who knows? Who knows? Right. I mean, Buggy didn't drown after his That's gum true. gum bazooka. He landed bazooka. in the right spot. <laughs> yeah. So then we go to see what ha- what's happening with other people, too. Mm-hmm. So we have Smoker and Tashigi. Like, they said that they weren't going to... Um, Stay at home. They're going to go try to find Straw Hats, you know, because they're like the only people who escaped from uh, this whole thing, especially because of such a weird escape situation, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like with Buggy, Alveda, and then Mm -hmm. even a guy with the face tattoos. Like that was a bizarre situation. And what happened is those two were able to um, spy on Mr. Zero conversation of that the Straw Hats are going, not Straw Hats, um, that they're going crocodiles people are going to alabasta so that's the way they're gonna go yeah exactly they use like a <laughs> like a napple watch uh-huh. sort of transporter uh-huh. where it's like it is literally a watch uh-huh. with a tiny snail head on oh, it gosh. and i'm like okay okay so this is app like what year was this when this I think came it was out like early 2001 2002 so apple watch right there I that's say, where the idea came from i, I say <laughs> that this this one uh foreshadowed the future for sure because that's a pretty cool thing mm-hmm. and so they use that uh snail watch to sort of spy <laughs> on the conversation sanji was having with mm-hmm. with zero so they decide that they're gonna go to alabasta too all right so hey it's gonna be a party there because mm-hmm. got baroque works we got straw hats and a civil war and now we're gonna get oh my god these guys they're all gonna come together right now (laughs) (laughs) over me (laughs) (laughs) so yeah back to nami she is super sick Mm. luffy keeps trying to fix her with meat (sighs) it's like luffy fevers do Uh, not work that way he didn't uh, you know pirates are dumb we learned like when they didn't know about scurvy (laughs) <laughs> like, yeah. it's it they, they need help help them so they decide to anchor for the night and they all sleep in nami's room because they're all super worried mm-hmm. um also this episode came out in august 2001 came out 2001 2001 yeah so this one so definitely predates the apple watch absolutely which is <laughs> awesome <laughs> that's crazy so, yeah yeah so they are trying to to figure out where they can find a doctor. And mm-hmm. they find a spot, uh, the next island that they can go to, the nearest island they can go to, uh, which is known as Drum Island. Mm-hmm. But no. What's it known as? Drum Island. Drum as in a drum? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For a second, I thought you said drama. And I'm uh, like, drama ooh, so dramatic. <laughs> Total drama island, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a winter island, actually. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, We've seen some weird islands already mm-hmm. now that we've made it to the Grand Line. Some of them are normal, like uh, like Whiskey Peak. You know? Yeah. Like, But a lot of them have different climates, as we're about to see. So this one is a winter island. Some of them like are stuck perpetually in different climates. Oh, I would yeah. not like to live on winter island. Absolutely not me either. Uh, like, just like me in Summer Island there or we Spring go. Island. Exactly. And I'll be 
good. Hell, hell, I'll even do Desert Island. <laughs> I don't want to do Desert Island, but I'll do that over Winter Island. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. There's a lot of islands I would do before Winter, Winter Island. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds like the most miserable of spots. <laughs> Always cold, never... Ugh, bump that, man. Like, yeah. I couldn't. Mm-mm. Nope. Anyways. <laughs> it's like, I might... I would even try to... Uh, no. I was like, would I do a little garden? I was like, probably not. <laughs> As a normal human being, would I do a little garden? No. I like the climate, but then again, you have a volcano that's always a threatening to erupt. You have dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, tigers. Tigers, right? Exactly. And then, uh, luckily, these giants are cool, but still. Yeah. I don't know. Sounds yeah. tough. So, this is a winter island. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, now they're about to land to a winter island, and they find, uh, like, they, they land there, you know. Trying to get Luffy to be like, hey, focus. We're here <laughs> focus for. on finding a doctor, exactly. okay? Not here for venture. Adventure? But Luffy's so excited about seeing snow. He's like, snow, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Right? Have you seen snow before? I've seen snow Because you snow moved before. from a place that didn't have snow. Yeah, huh. I, yes. So I saw snow for the first time in New York for New Year's 2018. That's cool. Last year. And yeah, I had traveled before, but I had never traveled during the winter uh, to somewhere that had snow. Uh-huh. And yeah, I feel like I'm not sure I if this is going to happen to Luffy, but I was super excited yeah. when I saw snow. I was like, yay, snow. I had never seen snow before. Yeah. I'm from a tropical island in the Caribbean. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as I got out, saw the snow, made a snowball, <laughs> took a picture. I was like, I am done with this. I never want to see snow ever in oh, my life man. again. Uh-huh. It is too cold. Uh-huh. My hands are now wet Mm-mm. because I made a snowball. Oh. I, no, that's, it's okay. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't blame you. Honestly, like, I, I don't like the cold. Like, I am happy that spring is coming. No. Winter is no. coming. I can't do that. No, my blood is... Uh, my blood runs on 80 degrees. Me too. You know, like, I'm like, okay, short weather is when it starts being 90. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? I'm That's like, exactly how I feel. Mm, still got to like keep the jeans on. anything below 75, I'm cold. I am I wearing, a jacket. Yeah, I'm it's, wearing a jacket. Me too. There we go. We're not made for that weather. I'm sorry. If, if you like snow, perfect. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> Literally. For you. Uh, right? <laughs> but not for me and not for Jocelyn. <laughs> <laughs> so but, Luffy's loving the snow. Mm-hmm. So you know there's gonna be adventures like Sanji. Why are you telling him there is going to be an adventure? Yeah, I know, right? Don't while looking for a doctor. <laughs> I know, right? So oh well, he tried. Mm-hmm. And yeah. everyone has new outfits. Yeah, I everybody told you. Everybody has new uh, winter clothes. Mm-hmm. Everybody has like their jackets mm-hmm. with their hoodies, and Luffy's like a burgundy colored uh, jacket. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, I think Sanji well, has a green shorts. one. Yes, yeah, he's still yeah. wearing shirts and sandals. Yes. So it's like, I'm not sure <laughs> I'm trying how to this think works. if he ever changes out of shorts and sandals. Well, maybe. if he didn't change shorts and sandals for the snow, I don't feel like he's yeah, ever going to change right. it. <laughs> right. That's, that's the truth. Like, <laughs> I, I couldn't So they continue, they enter like a stream mm-hmm. uh, inland and find some people mm-hmm. who live on this island. And apparently they don't need, they don't like pirates. Like they're all... Standing on the cliff, ready to fight. And they're like, hey, we're not here to fight. Mm-hmm. We want a doctor. Mm-hmm. But someone from the crowd shoots at Sanji. Damn. And he's like, you made a big mistake. And he's about to, you know, just get on there and kick some asses. Uh-huh. But Vivi <laughs> stands in his way. She's like, no, don't do it. Um, like, stop. And somebody shoots her. Dang. And we see, like, that white... Uh, screen that Dang. comes when somebody gets shot mm-hmm. and usually gets killed so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm super worried mm. because that's when the episode ends I know right and that's and the I'm end like, of this particular podcast series no, right here so geez baby. oh geez <laughs> so what do you think what do you think is gonna happen because this I is like the craziest know. spot to ask like what's gonna I happen I don't know right this is like we just got to this winter island the people are like the complete opposite of whiskey peak <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. More but normal. I guess this means they're not, yeah, they, mm. this means that they're more normal. Um, so now we need a doctor because <laughs> now the two girls are in trouble. Someone got shot. Uh-huh. And, I mean, my initial prediction was going to be that Vivi's joining the crew because mm-hmm. I really like her. Like, we saw a poster mm-hmm. already. Yeah, she has her own, like, break. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which is cool. And, 
she works well under pressure, I think. Like, yeah. she knows when to take the lead, if necessary. Like, mm-hmm. she's not a bossy princess yes. or anything. I thought she was going to join the crew when she was done with her deal. Because mm-hmm. I feel this is how things run, yeah. you know. Someone gets invited to the crew, mm-hmm. but they have to deal with their ish first. Uh-huh. Um, so I thought that was going to happen. So I think the crew finds a doctor while adventuring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And they head down to Alabasta so Vivi can solve the issues and join the crew. All that right. is what's going to happen. All right. I like that. That was pretty good stuff. I'm going to save us riding out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I was clearly wrong about the Kobe. My uh, last prediction right. was wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hopefully, I'm right about this one. <laughs> we are going to see because um, all I can say is it's quite a bit. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. I actually, I like this arc a lot. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. Anyways, that. that's all I'll say. Anyways, that's that. this episode. That's this podcast episode. And we hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check out the Funimation blog on funny.to. That is fun.to slash one piece podcast, which will be updated constantly with binge roots and all the information that we have about our podcast. And also, don't forget to head to our Funimation shop at Funimation.com slash shop, and you can add One Piece movies, TV episodes, and TV specials to your home video collection. And for all things One Piece, follow us on Facebook at One Piece Official and Twitter at One Piece Anime. We want to thank all the people who make this podcast happen. The creator of One Piece, Oda Sensei. God, Oda. Toy Animation. Those guys. The audio engineers. These guys. And of course, everyone joining us on this journey. Y'all guys. All you Straw Hats out there listening. So please rate this podcast wherever you're listening to it and share it with other One Piece Nakamas. Y'all podcast. Five stars, please. Mm. Next po- One Piece at a time, we'll cover anime episodes 80 through 87. So be sure to watch it on Funimation now, sub or dub, and be ready for those guys. <laughs> See ya. See ya.